Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Returning Home podcast, hosted by yours truly, Lin Ling. And in today's episode, we're going to be diving deep into the topic of awakening all of you. And specifically, what I mean with that, looking at our ego. And, uh, you know, the ego has been demonized within the spiritual community, and I do see why. However, in this episode, I'm going to share with you some of the things that you might never have heard before and reasons why our ego is actually a very beautiful, sacred part of us that we also need and definitely need it at a at a particular point in time. So if you want to learn more about how you can heal yourself through integrating your ego, then this episode truly is for you. Without further ado, let's hop right in today's episode. So the reason why I want to create this episode is because, like I said earlier, the ego has been demonized through so many, you know, people speaking about you know, within the spiritual community. And I've always wondered, like, is the ego really a bad thing? Like, what's the purpose of it? Because if it is part of us and it's part of our existence, then it must have a purpose. And so, you know, throughout this journey, I have found a few different things that I'm going to share with you. And maybe this will shift your entire perspective on what the ego really does and how it can help you in your awakening journey. So a lot of people, they shame the ego. They, you know, they say something like, oh, this is your ego talking or this is, you know, the ego. And you immediately might feel bad about yourself like, oh, I shouldn't be thinking that or I shouldn't be saying that. That's my ego. That's bad. And it's not entirely true. It might not be the highest form of consciousness speaking through you, but there is a reason why the ego was created. And we have to honor that and respect that. And so I want to talk about what the purpose is of our ego. Then I'm going to dive very deep into the root chakra and then i'm going to explain how we can have a healthy beautiful integrated relationship with our ego so stay tuned for that so what is the purpose of our ego the purpose of our ego is protection and it is to keep you safe So when you think about that, when it is your ego that's coming up, when your ego is speaking, what does it mean? It is trying to protect you from something where you were hurt in the past. So when you look at it that way, you actually see, hey, there is a reason why this voice in my mind or this identity, because the ego sometimes really is an identity. There is a reason why... It is present in my life and it's present in particular situations. And so I really want to dive into the root chakra because the ego really is related to the root chakra. And I'm going to explain with you why that is in a little bit. So our root chakra is basically the lowest energy center within our body that is located at the bottom of the spine you might know that the color of the root chakra is red and it is our center that kind of contains our safety the foundation our survival our need for survival Um, it's connected to mother earth It, it has the earth element in itself It's your feeling of being grounded, feeling secure and self-preservation. So the root chakra, I really see it as the chakra of our foundation. It's, you know, the base of our survival, our primary needs, our needs of feeling safe. And when you think about the ego, what does the ego, what, what is the ego doing? The ego makes sure that you are safe. 
that's directly correlated, I do believe, to the root chakra. What does this mean? <laughs> Actually, I'm going to share with you first what are some signs of, the, of a blocked root chakra. So some of the symptoms are fear and various forms of trauma, eating disorder. Um, some psychological symptoms could be anxiety, fear, panic attacks, worry, overthinking, depression, nightmares, feeling emotionally disconnected and disconnected from the body. Maybe you're experiencing anger or rage. And when you think about that, a lot has to do, and I've recently created a video about the inner child. So if you have not seen that yet, I will put it in a link here so you can watch that because it is really, really related with receiving blocks as well. When you think about being receptive to abundance, then the root chakra and having a root a blocked root chakra is very very much correlated to receiving and so you might want to check out that video but when you think about the ego if it wants to protect you then it means that in some period of time in your life you were not feeling safe and this is where inner child healing comes in because often those periods in our life were when we were younger. They say that within the first seven years of our lives, zero to seven years of our lives, most of the programming and conditioning is done. And after that, often all the experiences and traumas and negative things just stack onto that conditioning but it often originates in that period of your life so this is where inner child healing the wounded inner child is coming to the surface it's this feeling of not being safe this feeling of not being loved in my other video i said love was probably transactional in order to get love you had to show up in a certain way and if you didn't show up in that certain way if you didn't show up maybe in your truth and that was maybe when you were showing up in your truth and that was rejected meaning that love was withdrawn you found a mechanism to show up that was inauthentic to you so that you could get that love from your parents or your family and you would feel safe because part of feeling unsafe was part of feeling unloved when you were younger and that programming is you know a lot a big part of the reason why our root chakras are out of balance when we grow up and I'm not saying that this is for everyone, but I do believe that most of the people have experienced this as we were growing up because the levels of consciousness on our planet were not high enough for the biggest group of the people to know how to actually unconditionally love. And I do believe that we're still learning that and we're, we're transitioning into that. So the higher the frequencies are getting on our planet, the more people start to awaken in you know how we treat our children when i look at the the generation of where you know where my parents grew up in it was normal to get punished by teachers and to get hit and you know there was a lot of really physical aggressiveness there and talking about having a blocked root chakra not feeling safe how could we you know in that particular moment in time so a lot of it has to do with healing our inner child healing the parts where we felt unsafe to be ourselves or we felt like if we are ourselves we are unlovable or we don't receive and this is where receiving from the universe and abundance also comes in so how do we how do we heal that I think that, you know, when you look at your ego, a lot of it, a lot of the mechanisms that you have come up with that are 
quote unquote inauthentic to who you truly are, to your divine truth, is the mechanisms that are being played out through the ego, this inner critic or this kind of way of being that was inauthentic to you, that just was created because you were being protective of yourself. You didn't want to get hurt again. You didn't want to feel that pain of being rejected. And that's why the ego came in to protect us. So as soon as you realize that that voice in your mind is coming up, we acknowledge it, we nurture it, we take care of it, we communicate with it. We ask that voice, what do you need? Why are you showing up in this way? Instead of judging it and shaming it, we understand that this voice, this ego, this part of ourselves was created because it was needed at a particular point in our lives. And when we suddenly tear, tear down those walls, when we tear down those mechanisms and we're not fully ready and integrated, we haven't healed those inner child wounds, then we expose ourselves to the potential danger that is out there because the danger was real. It was not created because it, it's all made up. The ego was created because it was needed. So until you are fully integrated, there is a really, really divine purpose for your ego to protect you. And that's why it's not a bad thing to have an ego. It's not a bad thing when your inner critic comes up who actually just wants to prevent you to show up in a certain way so that you don't get hurt. So as you are releasing and dealing with your ego, and this is actually how you build a healthy relationship with your ego, you acknowledge it and you bring compassion to it. Because wherever we find compassion and love, and this is what I've learned from my coach, wherever we find compassion and love or we bring compassion and love to the parts that needed to come up with that mechanism, which is genius, by the way, it's genius that you created that to keep you safe. Wherever we bring love, we can bring healing. So it's being aware of it, acknowledging your ego, asking for what it needs and why it is showing up like that. And maybe when you un start to understand why, you start to feel naturally the compassion for it because you know that deep down there was a lot of pain and hurt and your ego only wants to protect you and wants to keep you safe. So the more that you heal yourself, the less the ego will feel the need to protect you, the more naturally we can integrate this part of us into awakening all of us. And that's what I mean with awakening all of us. The more that we do this work, the higher we can raise our vibration, not just consciously through meditation, but our natural state of being, the more that we are tapped in to our highest potential and the highest timelines that we can live. So I think that that was a lot for today and I think I'm going to keep it at that. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're tuning in from YouTube, please let me know in the comments where you guys are tuning in from because I love to see where you guys are watching from. And please like this video and share this video with anyone who you think could benefit from this message right now. If you're tuning in from Spotify or Apple Podcast, be sure to give this podcast a five-star review if you've liked it. It literally takes a few seconds and really, really helps to spread this message to as many people as possible who need to hear it right now, who need to hear this kind of awakening, this kind of guidance within their journey right now. And don't forget to check out my new Lightworker merchandise, which you can find in the link in the description below. I'm very, very excited about how this all turned out, and I'm super grateful for everyone who's purch purchasing it. If you want to further support my channel, I would really, really appreciate it if you check it out, and if you would buy some if you want to. 
um, it would really help me to keep creating this kind of content for free for all of you. And I also think that if you're wearing this merchandise, you will spread the message of light, positivity, love and awakening with the world who desperately needs it right now. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Please keep growing, keep shining and keep being your beautiful self. I'm looking forward to see you in the next one. Bye for now.